Greetings. I'm Pat Little, and I'm a senior fraud examiner with Prosperity. I'm also a dentist. I practiced 14 years before a disability ended my private practice days. So I went back to college, got an accounting degree, and in 2012, through a mutual friend, I was introduced to David Harris of Prosperity. I've been associated with the company ever since, and I really enjoy what I do. Now, you may be asking yourself, just what is it that a fraud examiner does? Well, it depends on who you ask. If you ask me, this is what I think I do. I'm a legend in my own mind. However, this is what I really do. I work from a home office, and I cannot tell you how important that is. It's vital that if you feel you're the victim of embezzlement, your employee should never know that an investigation is ongoing. Many embezzlers are under an enormous amount of stress because they're wondering, is today the day the doctor catches me? If you have an employee who feels that you're now suspicious, the tendency is going to be to destroy evidence, whether that's a computer issue, hard drives mysteriously crashing, patient charts disappearing, that's a destructive event for your practice. The safest method to conduct an embezzlement examination is by remote means. First off, this doesn't disrupt the normal daily activities of your practice. But most importantly, no one on your team knows what is going on. You are the only one that we communicate with. Also, what if embezzlement isn't occurring? Do you want a team member to find out that you were suspicious and investigated them? That could break the bonds of trust forever. This is why, in our opinion, the best course of action to conduct an examination is for nobody to know. If embezzlement is found, the employee doesn't know until you call him or her into your office and terminate their employment. Otherwise, nobody knows, and now you have the peace of mind of knowing that either everything was okay, or at least now you know what's happening so that you can put it behind you. This is why when it comes to investigations, I don't mind being stuck in a home office. I would love to meet you sometime, but under different circumstances.